The basic ingredients for a car engine to work are air, fuel, and a spark. Very simple ingredients. The complicated part is how to achieve this. There are actually various ways to approach this. Today's auto technology segment will cover the different approaches, naturally aspirated, turbocharged, and supercharged engine. Engines need air for combustion. The normally aspirated and turbocharged and supercharged engines rely on the pressure inside the intake manifold to get air and fuel into the engine cylinders. This pressure is called manifold pressure. Naturally aspirated engines are called such because they draw air into the engine cylinders through an air intake by creating a partial vacuum. The atmospheric pressure acts against this partial vacuum that occurs as the piston travels downward toward the bottom dead center during the intake stroke. The vacuum feeds air to the engine's intake manifold as required. The manifold pressure is limited to the pressure off the atmosphere, meaning that the pressure in the intake manifold forcing air into the cylinders is the same as the air pressure in the environment, no more, no less. Most motor vehicle engines are naturally aspirated engines. Generally, compared to the other engine types, the naturally aspirated engine gives less power. The only way to increase airflow to a naturally aspirated engine is either to install a high-flow aftermarket air intake or to replace the air filter with a less restrictive one. It is more reliable and also cheaper to manufacture due to its simpler design. One of the fastest ways to add significant power to any engine is through forced induction. And this can be done in two ways via supercharging or turbocharging. They compress air and force it into the intake manifold, allowing manifold pressures greater than atmospheric pressure. This is referred to as the boost in automotive terminology. The turbocharger is an air compressor driven by an exhaust gas turbine, while the supercharger is an air compressor driven by the crankshaft of an engine, usually connected with a belt. A supercharger needs engine power to run, while the turbocharger uses the engine's waste energy or gases. The turbochargers draw some gases from the vehicle's exhaust manifold and forces them back into the intake manifold, packing more air into the cylinders to create a more powerful burn. Turbochargers produce significant increases of power at higher RPMs. It allows for smaller engine displacements to produce much more power relative to their size. Smaller turbocharged engines produce better fuel economy and higher efficiency. A drawback for turbochargers is the turbo lag. The exhaust gases used by the turbochargers are extremely hot and can cause the engine to overheat. To overcome this, the exhaust gases are sent through an intercooler to release the heat before the gases reach the engine. The power delivery from these now cooled gases can be delayed as the turbocharger takes time to spool up and this is called turbo lag. On the other hand, superchargers are like air compressors. They draw in fresh air, not exhaust air, and compress it before sending the air to the engine's intake manifold. Generally, superchargers may not produce as high power increases as turbochargers, but they do have a deal with heat issues or turbo lag problems. They deliver excellent power at lower RPMs. However, superchargers can produce a whining noise when operated. The biggest disadvantage of superchargers is that they suck engine power simply to produce engine power and thus is less efficient. With all forced induction systems, the engine is exposed to higher pressures and temperatures which do affect reliability. It's actually amazing to see how engineers come up with various ways to simply improve engine power, from a simple atmospheric pressure to compressed pressure to using exhaust gases or fresh air, automotive engineers have certainly put a lot of thought into it. I hope you've enjoyed today's auto technology segment and now you know what naturally aspirated, turbocharged and supercharged engines are.